For today's eye makeup look, we're going to be using this Wet n Wild palette called the Night Squad. The first shade we're going to start off with is the transition shade. We're going to be using a blending brush and we're going to sweep this into the crease of the eye and also onto the lid. So use your blending brush to sweep this over and back in the crease and then onto the lid as well. I want to share with you guys a different way to blend. So turn your brush on its side and sweep this over and back. And we're blending this up towards the brow bone, making sure it gets softer and fades into nothing as it reaches the brows. Taking the crease shade or the glittery black, we're going to be using that same blending brush and we're going to apply this along the lash line on the outer edge of the eye. And I'm using a blending brush instead of a flat brush just to create a softer effect. Then holding a piece of card or taping up the edge of your eye to create an angle, we're basically going to paint over the top of this to create a wing using that black eyeshadow. And my camera failed to record some of it, but I think you guys got the gist. And then I'm taking the brow bone shade and using this to sharpen up the edge. So taking a flat brush, you want to basically go alongside the edge of this wing. And then you can go ahead and reapply the black if you feel that you need to. A little trick is to apply your lashes halfway through this look. That will give you a guideline on whether your wing is too wide, too big, too long, and then you can adjust it after that. I'm pretty happy with the way that it looked, so I went ahead and applied the silver tone with a flat brush just to the inner corner of the eye. And there you go, a super easy look. Give it a try, and you compare this sort of style with lots of different other types of eyeshadows but it's a fun little way to use black and silver. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.